So I'm in Fast Feet in Westfield. And what's your name? I'm Blake Croto. Okay, and thank you. And you've been in business three or four years. Yep. And this is owned by a running club? Yeah, the Harriers out of uh, West Springfield, or the Greater Springfield area. And how does that work? How do they run this place? It's kind of like a co-op. There's the founders of the Harriers. They uh, started the running store. And uh, because there isn't like any one owner and it's owned by the club, we're able to stay a lot closer to the community. Great. And so are you involved with a lot of local things in the area? Yeah, there's like the 4th of July road race, and uh, we go to a lot of the local races. And you have a community board here so people can come and find out about different events. Yep. Okay. All right. You've got a really nice store here. Thank you. All sorts. Of, what kind of brands do you carry? Uh, most of the major running companies like uh, Nike, Adidas, or Nike, Mizuno, New Balance, uh, Brooks, Saucony. A lot of the well-known brands. We got a lot of nice apparel too. I'm in Ezra's Mercantile with Lou. Hello, you need to come in and try our Farmhouse Fresh products. These are amazing. Really, really yummy. They smell like all kinds of great things from icing to caramel. You'll love it for your feet, your hands, and your face. What are those, Lou? They're called kinetic spinners. Kinetic spinners. What do they do? Wow. The wind moves them, and they're sort of they just equal to a gazing ball or a fish tank. They're really relaxing. They're gardening. So you put them in your garden and the wind blows them around. Yeah. It's Ezra's Mercantile in downtown Westfield selling all kinds of different gift products for everyone. Find something for everyone here. I am now in the U.S. Food Mart at 28 Main Street, which is right next to Domino's Pizza. So now when you come downtown, you can support a mom and pop convenience store instead of the bigger chains, because the mom and pop stores is what Westfield is all about. Get your coffee, get your candy fix, come on in and say hi. Mama Cakes today, and I'm going to try her chocolate indulgence. And she has some cookies. And this is her big case filled with her beautiful cupcakes. So you gotta come down and try them. Look at how beautiful they are. Oreo cheesecake. I might have to get two. Is our baby are a dollar, cake bites a dollar fifty, mama is two seventy five, big daddy is three fifty. And what's a mama pie? It's like a whoopie pie. We take a cupcake and cut it in half, fill it, and then roll it in like a topping. My favorite place, and this is Axel, he's the store manager. And my favorite place is in Church Street Commons. And it's a consignment shop. And it's messy. And Lori has a lot of beautiful things that people from Westfield and the surrounding areas the have here for consignment. Dishes. What, Lori? The red, dishes. The, red the red dishes are gorgeous. I'm just looking at those. They're from Italy. They are from Italy. They are gorgeous. Hello. You Hi. never know what you're going to find here. Oh, I got you all right and Lori gets a lot of foot traffic she's made a lot of friends every time I come in here Lori's got a couple people in here chatting with her so come on down and check it out she's got some beautiful treasures in here or bring your own treasures in here to consign with Lori there you go look at how beautiful this stuff in here is Just come on in and find your treasures here. I'm in George's Jewelry in downtown Westfield, and George himself is here with me. 
And what's your address? 67 Elm Street. 67 Elm Street. You've been here for 45 years. And you do jewelry repair and watch repair? Yes. And you replace diamonds and prongs? And what else do you do? Well, whatever's got to be done, we'll do it. Whatever has to be done. All right. And watches as well? Yes. You have a beautiful shop here. And I love these beautiful things. Beautiful treasures here. And I especially love the Hershey's. Hershey kisses them. They say the kiss that lasts forever. <laughs> the kiss that lasts forever. Pottery from Poland. Yes. I love that glass plate. That's gorgeous. in Game City now. This is 77 Elm Street. They have new video games and used video games. They buy and sell video games. So come on down here and check this out and see if they have something that you're looking for. Performance Music at 126 Elm Street. And I'm going to talk to you. What's your name? My name's Jared. Jared. Thanks, Jared. Uh, Tell me a little bit about performance music and what do you do here? Well, performance music is a family-owned business. Um, they've actually been in downtown Westfield for about 50 years now, and it's you know it's had different owners. So right now, Greg Garska is the owner. It's been the owner since '95, I believe. Uh, I've been here since 2006, on and off. Um, it's great. It's great for the kids because a lot of kids really um, pick up music here, and over 300 students per week. So it's it's pretty pretty astounding what what this place does in the community. How it brings music into the kids' lives. It's really it's really great. That's that's a lot of students in one week. Yeah, it can get pretty crazy. You know. <laughs> what instruments do you teach here? Uh, we teach everything from your traditional guitar, drums, piano, to your band instruments, uh, brass, strings, clarinet, all your wind instruments. So, um, even even like tuba, <laughs> if you yeah. want to go that route. Yeah, we could probably find someone. And. Yeah. Did I see a vocalist, a vocal teacher? Do you do voice? Yeah, there's a couple of vocal teachers. I think there's one primary vocal teacher, and there's a couple of guitar teachers that teach voice on the side, um, which is good because it's always fun to, you know, just play guitar and not only play but play and sing. Too. Mm -hmm. A lot of the kids do that. And uh, what are the what are the lessons run? The lessons are seventy dollars per month plus ten dollar registration fee, uh, once a week after our private lesson. So it's pretty pretty cheap deal for the most part. I mean, I know most of the other stores they charge well over that. So for for someone with a lot of you know a lot of kids, and they all want to take lessons. It's great to send two or three kids here per month, and you you save money. You know, just just having more kids. Learn. Great. So, a lot of families do that. So. Well, thank you. Oh, and what about the recitals? Yeah, every year there's a recital for the kids, and it's pretty it's pretty interesting to see them perform like we'll have them play with a live band and they'll pick like you know they'll pick like Green Day or Taylor Swift and <laughs> stuff and every year it's the same kids will participate and it's great to see them improve each year. Great. So, it's a lot of fun. It's a it's good for the it's good for the community. Thank awesome you. Awesome drums they have too. Come on into performance music and check out what they have. Now I'm visiting DMZ in Westfield and their clothing shop with accessories. And they are at 170 Elm Street and she's been here about six months or so. Find some really nice clothes in here too. And some beautiful accessories. That's different. Interesting. Something for every taste here.
curly headbands. How cute are those? Let's go back this way. There we go. And there's also cologne. And if you're a hat fan, you can choose a hat. Of course, we know you're going to come in here and buy red socks. There's even a nice selection of shoes here. You can come in and buy your whole wardrobe here. I'm in World Peace Beads at 4 School Street. And this is a co-op of beads. Co-op of what? Help me out here. I'm not doing too well. We're, we're jewelry artists. Jewelry artists? Jewelry artists. Jewelry artists. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you do here? Um, I teach classes on how to make different types of jewelry. I also have jewelry here that I have made that I sell. Um, there's eight of you here? There are eight of us here. And how does the co-op work? Um, we all, uh, hmm. We pay rent on our boots, and then a percentage of our sales goes back to the house to help pay for the rent on the store. Okay, and you give classes? And we give classes. How can someone find out about the classes? Um, we have pamphlets here about the classes. We do have a web page, and that information is also on the web page. What's the web address? Um, World Peace Beads at uh, Four School at uh, I think it's at, on Facebook. Okay, so they can find you on Facebook. Yeah, Great. They can find us on Facebook. And what did you tell me that you're doing? Your new braiding here? It's kumihimo. It is a Japanese braiding art form. Um, it means to gather together, and it's done with a kumihimo braiding disc. And I use all different kinds of material. There's eyelash yarn there, there's satin cording there, there's ribbon yarn there, there's hemp. Of course, we embellish it with beads and pendants and all of my grandkids that have been around me all summer long all now do kumihima. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take you to complete a necklace? Um, a few hours. And how long does it take for someone to learn how to do it? Actually, probably about an hour. That's it? That's it. And do you have regular classes at a regular time, or do you give private lessons? It's usually, um, I'm here every Saturday, so it's any time between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, and I do give one-on-one uh, -on -one lessons. So if people, people can just walk in and choose some things, and you'll teach them? Um, usually they have to book ahead of time so that I know what they want for a lesson so that I'm prepared. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Is there anything else you want people to know? Just come down. <laughs> See us. There is so much we have to offer here. Okay. And you, you do have a beautiful selection of beads and a beautiful display. Thank you. displays in the different glasses. That's really cute. I'm not sure who came up with that idea, but we've just run with it. It seems to work out very well. Well, you certainly have quite a selection for just about anybody who would walk in the door. And you say men come in too and do some of their own beating? Oh, yes. <clears throat> we have a gal who knits baby blankets. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute. Oh, very pretty. Oops. What nymphs is our store manager? Can